Hello. Here is a P6 question on percentage and fractions. Sally and me each had a certain number of stamps. Sally gave away 40% of her stamps and another 15% of her remaining stamps to me. Then May gave two-thirds of her stamps to Jane. Sally then found that she had thrice as many stamps left as May. If May had 210 stamps at first, A. How many stamps did Sally have at first? B. How many stamps did Jane receive from May? Let us first underline the important facts in the question. So we have 40% of stamps, 15% of remaining stamps, two-thirds of stamps, thrice as many, and 210 stamps. Before we draw the models, we have to compute some figures first. We are told that Sally gave 40% of her stamps and another 15% of her remaining stamps to me. So we can calculate the total percentage that Sally gave to me in all. So we will have 100% minus 40% and you get 60%. This is the remainder of Sally's same. Now 15% of the remainder would be 15 over 100 times 60% and this would give us 9%. So the total amount or total percentage of stamps that Sally gave to me is actually 49%. That means 40 plus 9%. Uh, now we can draw the model. So we have Sally first. This would be Sally. And we shall divide this into two portions. One would be 49% that she gave away to me. That means her remaining is 51%. Because 100 minus 49 will give you 51. So let's just label this. accordingly. So this is left for Sally and this would be given to me. For the next model, we are told that May had 210 stamps at first, so we can actually draw another model here. Where one part or one portion would be 
49 percent which is a percentage of stamps that may receive from Sally and the other portion would be the 210 stamps that may had at first so we shall label this accordingly also This would be from Sally. And this is the number that she had at first. We also, we are also told that May gave two thirds of her stamps to Jane. And after she had done that, Sally found that she had thrice as many stamps left as me. So we will draw another model just below May's. They are supposed to be equal and two-thirds of it was given to Jane. So this is two third. If this is two third, this would have to be one third. So we shall label them again. Up to this portion here would be the fraction of stamps given to Jane and this is the fraction that May had left after she gave away two-thirds of her stamps to Jane so this would be left Now, based on these models, there are a couple of numbers that we can find. Firstly, we are told that when May gave two-thirds of her stamps to Jane, Sally found that she had thrice as many stamps left as May. So, if you look at May, this is the amount that's left. And this, um, and Sally's stamps which is 51 percent of original number is three times as many stamps as may so now if this is 51 percent that means may's a percentage of one third would be 51 divided by three so we will have it here one third is actually equal to 51% divided by 3 and this would give us 17% so this is actually 17% Next, if one third is 17%, so the percentage that's given to Jane, which is two third, would therefore be 17% times 2. And this would give us 34%. So this is actually 34%. Okay, next, we can see that actually 34% is equal to 210 plus this portion here. 
which is 49% minus 17%. That would equal to 34%, which is 210 plus this portion here. So our next statement would be 34% which is actually 49% minus 17% then you add that difference to 210 stems. So in other words, 34% is actually 32% plus 210 stems. That means 34 minus 32% equals to 210. 2% equals 210. So 1% is actually 210 divided by 2, which is 105. Now that we know 1% equals 105 stems, we can actually find the number of stems that Sally have at first, and that would be 100%. So for part A, how many stems did Sally have at first? It is actually 105 times 100%. And this would give us 10,000 500 stems and this would be 10, stems Sally had at first for the next question B How many stamps did Jane receive from me? From the model, we can see that Jane received 34% of the stamps from Jane, from, from me. So that would be 105 times 34%. And this would give us 3,000. 570 stems and this number would be the number of stems Jane received from me those are your answers Thank you.